everybody, what's up? My name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. So for this week I chose to go over the caracal brachialis muscle. I will go over the location, which includes the origin and insertion of the muscle. Then I will follow that with functions of the muscle so you know how this muscle works. And then finally give you some exercise examples so you know how to best strengthen this muscle. Um, whenever I do give you the exercise examples, please keep in mind there are other exercises for this muscle, but I'm just giving you your best option to strengthen this muscle the best way. Okay, so to start off, the location of the caracal brachialis muscle. Okay, we're going to start off with the origin, which lies on the caracoid process of the scapula, and then inserts onto the middle of the medial surface on the humerus. Okay, so as far as the curcoid process of the scapula goes, okay, your scapula is obviously on your back, that's your shoulder blade. Okay, but it does have a little uh, protrusion that does stick out towards the front of your body, so it sticks out or pokes out towards the front of your body a little bit, but it lies between your collarbone and your shoulder uh, joint here, your glenohumeral joint and your ribs. So it, there's kind of like a triangle area, a small one that's open. So it lies right in there. Okay. And so this caracobrachialis muscle originates on that caracoid process and then inserts onto the middle of the medial surface of your humerus. Okay. So if I, I'm going to move my shirt up. Okay. Your humerus is obviously right in here. Okay, so about half of your humerus would be about right in here. Okay, so moving to the medial surface, you're looking at the inner arm. Okay, so right about in there is where that brachialis inserts to. Okay, so moving on to functions, we're looking at movements such as adduction, and these are all movements of the shoulder joint. Okay, we're talking about the glenohumeral joint. Okay, adduction. We have flexion. And we also have horizontal adduction. Okay, and again, these are all of the shoulder joint, also known as the glenohumeral joint. Okay, so now that we know what the functions of this caracal brachialis muscle is and where it lies, we can now apply exercises to the muscle. Okay, again, um, there are other exercises out there, but it is an assister in the other exercises. It's not uh, where the muscle works the best or functions the most. So whenever I give you guys the exercise examples, please realize that there are other exercises out there and do not limit yourself to just the exercises that I provide. Um, I just give a few exercises so you know how to work it at its best. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and in, insert those exercise examples for you right here.
All right, you guys, I thank you so much for watching this video and giving your time to uh, just pay attention to the video. If you've learned anything or you like the video or you shared it with a friend, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please post them in the comments below. Okay. Um, again, please note that I am not a doctor or physical therapist. I am a personal trainer who is uh, familiar with exercise and the fitness side of things. I cannot cure or treat or do any of that sort. I'm not trained in uh, treating or curing any injuries that you may have if you have any uh, questions in regarding pain. Pain is a uh, sign that you need to stop what you're doing and to just go see your doctor about it. Um, but if there are any other questions in regards to fitness side of things, even if it's not on the critical brachialis, please post them below. Maybe somebody has a similar question. I can answer it for you on here. So I hope you guys enjoy your week, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So see you guys next week.